Dear students, let's talk about referred otalgia. You would have known that any disorder in the ear itself produces ear pain. Similarly, the pain can be referred to the ear from various sites. And what are these sites is something that we need to know. One of them is the fifth cranial nerve, that is, any problems in the oral cavity. For example, there can be a lesion on the tongue, there can be a lesion in the buccal mucosa, in the floor of the mouth. All these are referred by the fifth nerve. Along with that, we have the temporomandibular joint disorders or dental issues, which, which are referred by the fifth nerve to the ear. Seventh nerve is still a controversial topic here. It has been said that reactivation of the varicella zoster virus in the geniculate ganglion produces a referred otalgia to the ear. When we talk about the ninth nerve, disorders in the oropharynx, that is any disorder in the tonsil, it can be the elongated styloid process, tumors of the tonsil in the posterior pharyngeal wall, in the oropharynx, all these disorders will produce referred otalgia through the ninth cranial nerve. And when we talk about the 10th cranial nerve, it is usually the lesions in the hypopharynx in the piriform sinus, which produces referred otalgia via the Arnold's nerve. And eventually, the last important reason why there can be referred otalgia is through the C2 and C3 cervical nerves, that is, a cervical spine injuries or cervical spine disorders will produce referred otalgia to the ear through C2 and C3.